Have you always wanted to learn how to cut a china plate but didn't know where to start? Well then this is the workshop for you. My new online video is all about the china plate. Learn my easy process of cutting and then placing back together the beautiful edging from antique china plates into a keepsake mirror. Let me show you how. Just follow along on my video and you too will be successful in creating a mosaic mirror that you will be proud of. Your friends will never believe that you made it yourself. Head on over to mosaicsbysusan.com to find a list of all of my online workshops. There are many more workshops to come. I will be adding new projects monthly, so leave your email or check back in. Come join me on this mosaic adventure. Stay tuned to watch me demo how I cut a china plate. Here's the million dollar demo. This is what everybody wants to know, my big mosaic secret. How do I cut a china plate? Well, first of all, take a beautiful china plate and I use wheeled glass cutters. You want a good pair of wheeled glass cutter. It's the only tool I use. I use it to cut everything. So you take your glass cutters, you put it in as far as it goes in the middle of the plate and squeeze and the plate will break in half. Now most people think that the next step would be to cut here, especially because I want a piece about this size. It won't crack in half. So what you want to do is you want to cut it in half and half. So you can either go from the inside or you can go from the outside. The smaller the piece, the more precise the cut. So you want to keep on going around and just keep cutting your pieces in half and then putting them back, laying them back down in the order in which you got them. It's like a giant puzzle. And if you don't lie them back down after you cut them, you're going to lose your way. So this is, I found years and years of doing this, this is the best way to do it. So I'm going to go around twice, cutting my plate, each piece in half, laying it carefully back together. Stick it all the way in, squeeze, and it'll break in half, okay? Now there's a beautiful motif in the middle that I'm not going to use for the mirror because I got the mirror in the middle, but I'm going to use another time. So I'm going to tape it back together as I cut it. The piece I'm most interested in is this little edge. On the edge, you'll see there's an indentation. So I'm going to put my cutters right here. It can either be on the front side or the back side and cut right there. Then I get the extra piece. I'm going to go around. I'm going to cut right there, that ridge, and I'm going to lay all my pieces back together. Now this is a beautiful old, old plate. Everyone's always so worried to use china, so I find it's the most durable thing. I like to use china in my art because I love the old pattern, I love the history of the plates. I like it because it cuts so beautifully. For this particular project, I am not going to use the center. So this is what I do to store it. A little, good little storage tip. I take blue, this is painter's tape. And I'm not gonna tape it on the front. If I tape it on the front, when I go to use it, um, the plate, I won't know what it looks like. And I stick my, I start sticking my plate back together right on the tape. And it's a great way to store your unused center, keep it with your stock of treasures so that you can use it for another piece. Voila, you got the center all taped, the edge all ready to use, and that's how you cut a china plate.